Rev up your engine! It's time for the Scotty Kilmer Kill. Today I'm gonna show you what to do if your car dies on the road. Now if you're driving down the road and all of a sudden your car stops running, here's some things you can do to get back rolling again. Now the first thing to check is your gas tank. As nutty as it sounds, if you're out of gas, the car's gonna die, and here's a reason you wanna check that first. In almost all modern cars, the fuel pump is inside the gas tank. Gasoline actually lubricates the fuel pump passing through it so the bearings don't burn out in the fuel pump. So if you ran out of gas and you keep cranking the engine to try to start it, and you're out of gas, the fuel pump will suck air, it'll burn the bearings out. Some of these fuel pump assemblies can cost you over a thousand bucks to replace them. So if you are out of gas, don't keep trying to start the car. Get some more gas and fill it up and go on your way. But if you do have plenty of gas, here's the next thing to check. You could have blown the fuel pump fuse, so check that next. And it's always a good idea to have a few spare fuses in your glove box. You don't need a giant box like I have, but you can get them that have four or five fuses in them. Then go to the fuse box and check the fuel pump fuse and any other fuse like the EFI for the fuel injection. It tells you on the back what fuse goes where. And here's how you can tell if a fuse is good. If it's continuous like this, the fuse hasn't blown yet, but a blown fuse looks like this. As you can see now, the loop is burnt off and it doesn't connect anymore, so the fuse is blown. So of course you have to have spare fuses to begin with, so make sure you got some in the glove box or the trunk. But here's another trick. Say you got a 10 amp fuse that's blown. Well, you could try a 15 or a 20 amp fuse just to see if it can make you home again. It really isn't going to hurt anything. And you might be able to make it home if there's a minor short that'll blow a 10 amp fuse, but not a 15 or 20. Now let's say you don't find any blown fuses. Well, you got the hood open. Check the fan belts to see if any of them came off. For example, if your alternator belt had come off, the alternator will stop charging the battery, you'll run out of electricity, and the car will stop running. And in that case, be prepared again. Be like me. Have a spare fan belt for the alternator in your trunk, so if it ever goes bad, you got one to put on. And if you really want to be prepared, you can have one of these little jump starter packs in your trunk. It can jump it after you put the fan belt on, or if you don't have a fan belt or you can't mess with that kind of stuff, these little packs have a reasonable amount of power in them. They'll sometimes start a car and you can drive a few miles, you turn the headlights and everything off, and you might be able to make it to a gas station or someplace running on this little battery alone. Now let's say your car stopped running because the temperature gauge got an H. Now of course you'd have to wait till the engine cooled down before you could do anything, but once it cools down, if you're prepared like me and have a spare jug of coolant in the trunk, once it's cooled down, add the coolant to the radiator, then you can start it up, turn the heater on full blast, and then drive while you watch the temperature gauge to make sure it doesn't go back up to the H. And here's how that works. The heater core is a small radiator, so if you run the heater, that helps dissipate any extra heat, and as long as your temperature gauge doesn't get into the H, you can drive it back to a safe place, then find out what's wrong and fix it. And the last thing to check if your car dies in the road is, check your oil. You wouldn't believe how many cars I've had towed over to me over the last 50 years that had run out of oil because no one ever checked the oil. So if you've been bad and don't check your oil enough, have two or three quarts in the trunk. So if you do get stuck somewhere and you're out, you can pour some in. A lot of times the engine will be damaged if you really ran it completely out of oil, but there's always a little bit left in the sump and sometimes just putting in two or three quarts, it'll start up and sound fine and still run. So now you know what to do if your car dies on the road. With a little preparation up front, you can often save yourself. And remember, if you have any car questions, visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.